is a, a scene that I've seen in dreams mm-hmm. and it's uh, on ocean mm-hmm. but it's not wide open ocean it's like a cove and this grass all the way up to the edge and then some sand and there's trees and bushes and a building that you go through to get to this area mm-hmm. and um, it's very familiar and it's very moist and I love it here and when it comes to me in dreams it's very soothing mm-hmm. so I'd like for you now to acclimate yourself completely into this place I'd like for you to pick a spot where you like to rest in this place where do you pick to go to when you come here be there now there's a spot that allows me to lean against a tree but it's a small tree it's not like a big giant forest tree it's a smaller tree Mm -hmm. and be on the grass and see the sand and there's other people there and I can see the water and the water is going by almost like a river mm-hmm. but it laps like like ocean waves mm-hmm. up on the shore and it's very warm and it's it's like that's just where I want to be mm-hmm so let's see what you do in this place take me through this time that you spend there what do you do when you're here are you alone or are there others that meet you here let's find out what happens next There are other people around. I seem to be alone, Mm -hmm. but not unfamiliar. It's like it's not an unfamiliar place, Mm -hmm. but I seem to be alone and just like a respite. It's like a respite place. Mm -hmm. So I don't really need to know anybody there. It's the land and the ocean and the water and the moisture that's nourishing Mm -hmm. to me. So I'd like for you to connect with all of this nature. Feel your soul connecting and feel the energy. This is my mother's home. Mm -hmm. My mother that I had in this life. Mm -hmm. I never knew that. I never knew it that this was where she lives before. Mm -hmm. So let's find out why you go to this place what connection you have what's what's your soul calling to be here so I can feel my eyes filling up with tears Mm -hmm. and when I have come to this place in my dreams I never get beyond this point and there's a building there and it's like a it's like a gym with an indoor pool and so forth in the dream, but I didn't know that it was my mother's home. And I'm not seeing anything, but I'm perceiving that it's actually a dolphin home. Mm-hmm. And that I have been to another location here before in a dream and I knew it in that other dream that it was my mother's home but she appeared as my human mother Mm -hmm. so let's be go beyond and see what happens next who do you connect to when you're there do you connect with a dolphin I am the dolphins, Mm -hmm. as is my mother. 
Very good. And I'm not feeling, it's, it's so interesting because I'm not feeling the connection to my earth mother. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm experiencing us as dolphins, like mm-hmm. co-dolphins or something. Yes. Yeah. So tell me where you are now. Oh yeah, so we're like we're breathing through this water like, like, like you know, a hundred miles an hour, like it seems mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. and just just going and going straight. There's nonstop water, and there's non there's no barriers, and there's no nothing to stop us from just swimming together, side by side, just doing it. Mm-hmm. It's so freeing. It's so freeing to just like just go and go and go and go and go and go and go. Mm-hmm. It's a happy feeling, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Soak in that feeling. Mm-hmm. Soak in that wonderful, happy feeling. And do you communicate with each other as you swim? Hmm. It almost doesn't seem like it. It almost seems like we just know, like there's no back and forth communication. Mm-hmm. It's like I know something and I know that she knows it too, or mm-hmm. she knows something and I know it too. And so it's very like knowing as a collective mind, but there's, there's not like talking back and forth. Is it just you and your mother? Are there others with you? Right now, hold on. Right now, it's just the two of us. Mm-hmm. So let's see where it is that you're going today. Mm-hmm. What's the importance of this day? Where are you going to? Okay, so she says to me, this is so you know that having a big body is a good thing. And this is so you know that you don't have to sw- sw- swim in actual water. What? I don't have to swim in actual. Oh, on, here in my physical body. Mm-hmm. I I didn't get what that meant. Mm-hmm. Go okay. ahead and explain and, and, that. Yeah. So I don't have to swim in actual water in order to swim with her. Mm. And it's almost like she's not my mother there. Mm -hmm. Like she's my mother, she was my mother here, but she's not my mother there. Who is she to you there? What relationship do you have? It's like we're friends and she's my teacher. Ah, very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's see what happens next. I'd like for you now to close that scene and let's go to the next important scene in that same lifetime when something important is happening. Be there now. We only exist in water. Uh And it's vast. And what we do is with our minds and our thoughts, we don't need things. Mm -hmm. Which is why things aren't important to you. And you live in a world where things are the ultimate of importance. And that's why you don't feel like you belong, because you don't go along with what the world is showing you. Because you don't need any things, because you don't live that way when you're here. So what is the importance? What do you put importance to when you're a dolphin in this place? 
What is importance to what? What is the importance there? Oh, because we're all we're all like both homing signals and and lighthouses. Mm-hmm. So as lighthouses, we're we're beaming light and love and clarity and all these different God forces out into the atmosphere mm-hmm. and for people to receive and be affected by and then the homing signal is also for people that are searching to find the thing that they're searching for hmm. and that's what we do and so um, we don't need things and, and we nourish ourselves with play we nourish ourselves with play and going as fast as you can and going as fast as we can mm-hmm. and then turning around and coming back mm-hmm. and then being stationary and we like to stand up in the water meaning we like to be vertical in the water rather than horizontal with the water why is that because we feel like our beaconness and our being the beacon and 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 being the lighthouse is more effective. Hmm. Inside or outside the water? More effective for people to get it outside the water. Hmm. And we can't stay vertical very long, but it's something that we like to do. Mm-hmm. So when you jump out of the water, mm-hmm. it's sending out signals. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this place where you are. What planet are you on now? This dolphin. First comes to mind is Venus. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you do for those that live on Venus? The inhabitants of Venus. We are the primary inhabitants. Mm -hmm. We don't we, we live in a frequency that that humans can't see mm-hmm. and the beings that are here we're all in that same frequency mm-hmm. and so we enjoy each other as in a similar way to the way people enjoy dolphins on earth mm-hmm. but we are more peers than we are species different. Mm-hmm. We're more peers. And those that are on Venus, that are not dolphins, mm. what else is there? Are there other inhabitants that you work with? There are other inhabitants. Mm-hmm. And... One moment. Do we work with them? Mm-hmm. Because you had said that you send out mm. signals. It's like the way humans work with dogs. Mm -hmm. And so the dog is a being in and of itself. And the dog is, has its own little personality. And the dog has a way of being with its humans. And the humans will treat it a certain way. And they will create a relationship or not, depending on how the human treats the dog. Mm Where we are, we have evolved to a place where we are, we're peers, humans and dolphins and the other species are peers to each other, not subordinate mm-hmm. or superior to mm-hmm. each other. And so we have a, I guess you might say an intuitive relationship. We work together intuitively and naturally and we don't have to do a lot of planning because of that flow that synchronistic flow of when we know we're needed Mm -hmm. we become present when we know we can go play or rest or eat or other things then we go do that but we have a synchronicity built in now that just operates 
very efficiently. So everyone just knows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. no need for communication. You just know. We know it. Mm -hmm. And we may know that it's, we need to go to a particular location. Mm -hmm. And we may know that in that location, it could also even be a situation of danger or accident, although that does not happen very often mm -hmm. here anymore. But we could go, we could go to a location to assist in amplifying the frequency, like it may be, it may be the frequency of compassion or the a frequency of calmness mm -hmm. that we emanate that is assisting in the overall event. Okay, very good. So let's close this scene and let's now go to the next significant event in your lifetime as that dolphin. Be there now. I have to leave. I'm being called. Oh, that's where I was called from. Mm -hmm. I am being called to come to Earth. Who has called you? I don't know. It feels like it feels like the conduits of the Creator. Mm -hmm. And we're being called to come to Earth. What's on Earth that is needed? We're being called to help with the tipping point. Hmm. Can you tell me about that tipping point? What does that mean? There's so much extreme duality and so much extreme pain and so much loss of humanity. Yet there are still beings who hold that treasure in their hearts of love and kindness and care. And, <clears throat> and we have come, there's been people over centuries and centuries and centuries who have come and the people who are trying to hold the truth of the Creator always live underground behind the scenes mm -hmm. in the shadows and it's time we've reached a place of tipping point where even Gaia has asked for assistance in getting the humans to shift mm -hmm. and break out of their blindness of pain and suffering. And so we've been asked to go and help anchor these things on the planet, these things of clarity and fierce honesty and warm compassion and ease of being corrected. And all of us, we have so many different focuses within us. And some of us are, mm, we have to leave what we are familiar with to come to this planet Earth and assist in holding these frequencies. And some of us have been able to come in our dolphin bodies and some of us have to come in as human bodies. Mm -hmm. But we're here. So what is your focus? What is your purpose? Well, how you will, how will you be helping on this tipping point of this planet? 
truth knowing what's true speaking what's true having the ability to let people experience what's true mm -hmm. even though it goes against what is mainstream spoken or believed by the masses because what comes in my heart as truth is given by the source of all there is that knows what the truth is and it stays in my heart and that is where the beacon shines out from from the heart yeah have you been called to earth before or is this the first time? Not the first time, no. And as you've, you'll be returning to Earth this time, how will it be different? It will be different because there's so many of us now. <clears throat> what does it? It's a secret, really, but we're explaining it out loud because mm -hmm. it's needs to be not a secret and that is that there are more of what people might say like people might term us mm -hmm. than there are of them mm -hmm. and that which wants to maintain the status quo is in the media mm -hmm. so we believe that there are more of them than there are of us but it's not true because they anymore. have a they have a, a larger audience they have the means to communicate their existence mm. better than we do. Mm. So how is it that you will be communicating your existence, your truth? Oh, first I have to figure it out for myself. Mm -hmm. This was... <clears throat> This was a hard life coming into it, and there was such a strong connection to truth of who I am, and the, the outside circumstances were so extreme mm -hmm. that I could easily have been lost. But my connection was so strong that I never got lost. I had moments of despair that got so bad that I thought I was lost, but I never was until I came back to look at myself. And so these part of being in a human body is to give myself the, the path of figuring it out for myself first. Mm -hmm. So that if I'm going to be truth, I have to be able to distinguish inside of myself what is and is not true for me. Mm -hmm. And what has been applied as rules from the outside and whether they fit or not. And if they do, then I continue to hold them as my truth. And if they don't, then I have to discard them, no matter how painful that may be. So why is it that this soul of this dolphin chose to come into such a difficult family situation? Was this part of the experience? 
I forgot how horrible it can be here. Mm -hmm. I said, yes, yes, I'll go, I'll go. Did you choose your family? I think I, I chose them. Mm -hmm. Let's find out how you chose this family. I'm going to count from three back to one. When I get to number one, I will tap your forehead and you will be at that moment of planning this life. Three, two, and one. Be there now. This is the family that <clears throat> will provide me with the best tools to do the life that I'm coming here to do. This is the family that will give you the tools you need to be successful in what it is that you do naturally. This is also the family that will provide you with a lot of pain and you will get through it because you will not be alone. But we don't want to focus on that right now. We just want to focus on the mission. And your mission is to go into this planet and hold the beam of truth. That's your mission. To hold the beam of truth. And now we are going to prepare you, but you cannot... Oh, oh... Oh. What's happening? Oh, she's going into labor. Mm -hmm. She's going into labor and we need to get you in there. And and we, so so we need you to remember everything we're teaching you now about being on that planet and please remember and remember and remember. You have to go now. What happens now? Oh. I don't want to be in here. I don't want to be in here. I don't want to be in here. It's too toxic. It's too tiny. It's too... Oh, God. It's so small. It's so small in here. Ugh. I don't like it in here. Allow yourself now <sighs> to exit that body. Be at the point of exiting that body. Mm. See yourself exiting that body. I have to be with her. She's going to be my mother. She didn't like it either. But I have to be with her because she's, she's so alone. And so I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. It's hard to be in this little body. But I'll stay. Do you remember your mission for being here? Not right now. What do you remember? I don't remember anything. Mm. So what are you feeling? Oh, God. Oh, it's like in the infant. I'm an infant. I'm an infant. And, and I'm in her body. And it's so toxic. Mm -hmm. And I have to get out. And, and I'm going to get out now. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm just hanging on by a thread. I'm just hanging on by a thread. That's it. I'm just hanging on by a thread. I gotta stay connected, though. I can't. I can't leave because if I leave, it'll kill her. It'll just destroy her. Because she didn't know what she was getting into when she came, and she was so alone. And I'm here to be her friend again. Mm-hmm. Do you recognize this soul? Yeah, it's my mom. Mm. It's my mom from. From my dolphin life, mm -hmm. my friend, my teacher from my dolphin life. Did you make an agreement to come to see her, to be with her? 
I don't know. I just know that that was the family that I had to come. So, so probably I did, but I don't. I don't mm -hmm. know for sure. So I'd like for you now to move uh, on. What happens? What happens now? We have this life as Tony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Look around you. What do you see? Oh, my mom, she sent me on the table, on the chair, and uh, she got me bundled up on the chair in the little corner where the piano is. Mm -hmm. and she's playing Rachman and off, and I love it. It's so powerful. It's like the water we swim in. Mm -hmm. What does that do to your body, these vibrations? Oh, the vibrations are wonderful. What do they do to you? It helps me feel alive. Mm -hmm. It helps me feel alive. So as you look at your mother playing this piano, playing this beautiful music, I'd like for you to look around the room using your spiritual eyes. And I'd like for you to see if there are any there that are assisting you in this life. Look around you. Use the eyes of the soul. I have someone standing behind me. Mm -hmm. Who is it? The name Peter comes to mind. Mm -hmm. What is Peter's role in your life? Peter's watching my back. Mm -hmm. Peter's making sure that the violence doesn't kill me. Mm -hmm. What does Peter do? I'd like for you to accelerate your life going through the moments like flashcards as you see yourself in different situations where Peter has helped you. <sighs> What do you see Peter doing? He shields me. He, he, it's like he adds a layer of armor mm -hmm. or not, it's not, it, it's not, it's energetic. It's not like real armor, but it feels like a thickness mm -hmm. that protects me from the, whatever the blows are or the sound vibrations are or the yelling or the, whatever it is that could harm me mm -hmm. from actually penetrating into the core of my system mm -hmm. so that there's no there's no um, permanent damage my body gets affected my physical body gets affected but the core of me that's holding the truth beacon does not get affected. Mm -hmm. And this truth beacon, as you are progressing through your life, are you using this truth beacon? Not very much mm -hmm. until I get much older. All right. So let's close this scene now. And now let's go to the moment when that truth beacon becomes totally activated. Be there now. Oh, uh, it came, it became activated when I spoke the truth to my, to one of the guys I was singing with, but I couldn't sing with them anymore. Mm -hmm. And we were right on the edge of becoming famous. And I couldn't mentally or emotionally continue down that road with them. And we, 
I had to tell him that I couldn't sing with them anymore and I knew what it meant because I had been singing lead on the song that we recorded that was about to be released and it was devastating to me and it was devastating to them and but it was truth it was the truth and I didn't lie and keep on going with a smile on my face I told him the truth and I expected an onslaught of shouts and recrimination and how dare I and it didn't happen he rubbed my back and he said I understand so speaking the truth in that moment changed for me something in me said I will not be punished for speaking truth anymore and that was that moment so I'd like for you to see your body from spiritual eyes and see how your body was changed energetically once you opened up that truth beacon what happened to your body Uh. <clears throat> it 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 <sighs> take a look at it spiritually the energetic field what happened once that beacon was released it began to expand and contract and expand and contract and and depending on what was happening, it might even explode mm -hmm. and implode and expand and contract. And it was doing a lot of that then. It was doing a lot of that. So much so that um, I didn't... I didn't know that it was happening. and Like, I didn't feel that it was happening. But it was happening so much that it allowed more and more truth to come out mm -hmm. of me that was there in me that had been covered over by lies mm -hmm. in order to comply with my parents or school or authority figures. We'll just say authority figures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now we understand that that truth beacon has, has expanded even more. So I'd like for you to now see what that beacon looks like at this time. As Tony speaks her truth, what does this beacon look like now? It beams in every direction. It's not focused like a lighthouse beam. Mm -hmm. It just emanates from every pore of the body. Mm -hmm. So as you look at this beacon of light emanating from every pore, I'd like for you to follow this beacon of light and see how this beacon of truth affects the others, affects those that come into contact with this truth. What's it, what does it do to them? Follow it. It puzzles them. It attracts them. It repels them. It annoys them. It confuses them. It has many effects on others. Mm -hmm. And it also helps people to be braver to do their own, to know their own truth. Mm -hmm. So is this beam effective in what you came here to do? Is it being effective? Mm hmm I don't know. Let's find out 
how we can amplify that even more. What does Tony need to do to really live her purpose with this energy of truth? Continue to trust that each moment is as it should be and enjoy it. You don't get to swim in the water, but you do get to swim through your life in this hard and soft and difficult and easy. And that's just the way it is. She tells me that her life is almost like a sound wave. It goes up and down. Mm -hmm. Why is it that her life is like that? Why so many dips and peaks? Because she understands vibration. Mm -hmm. So her life is like and a vibration? Her life is a vibration. Mm -hmm. It's a pulse. And pulses aren't constant. Mm. And she needs it to be pulse-like and wave-like because that's her natural frequency. Mm. So and that's why she resonates with sound so well. So when she tells me that, for example, she collects things and then avoids using them, is that part of it? She gets into something and then she lets it go for a while and then brings it back. She's a creator mm -hmm. as well as a beacon. And part of the pleasure of being here is the act of creation and seeing it take form rather than something that might be instantaneous mm -hmm. it takes time here on this planet and so she wants to she doesn't want she does collect lots of art supplies she asked a question about that yes and it's because the colors bring her joy they make her so happy to see so many different colors all in one place. And it's that that brings her joy. It's not the actual making of art. It's the having the colors to look at mm -hmm. that makes her happy. And that's why she's confused because she thinks she's supposed to make art with it. <laughs> and that's not why she has it. It's just to put colors on paper in any way at all. And then that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. And she's right now very happy to hear this because she thought she was wasting all the space with all these art supplies that she doesn't use. Well, she also says that she's blocked creatively when it comes to writing. Mm -hmm. Is she actually blocked or is she waiting for the next wave? No, that's different. Mm -hmm. That is, one's different. What is that about? It has several different... It's got several different causes. Mm -hmm. One has to do with the just being shut down when she verbalizes. Mm -hmm. And... So, and writing is a form of verbalization. And so she has like a governor, inner governor on her in terms of writing. She writes prolifically as long as it is for a purpose, as long as it is a policy, a letter, a something that is in a useful document. Mm -hmm. She has also had lifetimes where her words became the cause of her death or her torture. And it's happened enough times that she's just said, I'm never doing it again. You can't make me. But now she sees the joy of it. And so it's breaking through that 
um, prior experiences and and decisions. Mm-hmm. Would it be a good idea for her to see which is the life that has been blocking her with this? We showed it to her already. Mm-hmm. She wrote it in her book. Okay. And that is the primary one that created the decision to never do it again. Yet, because of who she is, it can't be stopped. Because this is the way Creator flows through this particular expression. Mm -hmm. And so that particular lifetime was both one of fame and one of torture and death all at once. So that's why she's afraid of being famous? There is very much to do with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, she asked the question about who was she as an individualized expression of source when she's not in the physical body. We had seen the dolphin. Who is she? One moment. I have no heart for this. There. I don't care. Tell me more. Why did you have a heart for this? Mm -mm. I'm not going to let her know who she is because she's... I'm not going to let her know who she is. Why is that? Who are you? Because I won't be able to stay here anymore. Mm -hmm. Who are you? You're being a little selfish, don't you think? Yes, yeah, so. Are you male or female? Are you male or female? Male. What's your name, please? Who am I speaking with? Calvin. Calvin. Any name will do. I don't care. Calvin. Call me Calvin. Calvin. How old are you, Calvin? 82. Calvin, what year is it for you? Eighteen uh, something. Mm-hmm. What happened to you? What happened to your body, Calvin? They hung me. Who did? What? Who did? Those white men. What were you doing, Calvin? I'm just trying to get away. Get your freedom? What? Were you trying to get free? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But Calvin, you're not free now. Mm. Why did you choose to stay in this body and not be free? That's all I know. That's all you know. Can I help you today, Calvin? Do you want to finally be free? No, I'll be really free. I want you to be really free. Calvin. Where have you attached to this woman? Do I go all over? You go all over? Where? I'm in her heart right now, but I can go anywhere. And what have you been doing to her all this time? What do you do to her? I don't want her to leave. Because mm -hmm. she's comfortable. What and I you... like being comfortable with her. What do you do to her? What do you make her feel? Well, as long as she stays still and doesn't go anywhere, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. And what happens when she tries going someplace? What do you do to her? I give her aches and pains. I make sometimes, like sometimes, I like to make her think she's having a heart attack or something. But she she stopped a long time ago. She started telling herself all kinds of stupid stuff, like 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 she would say. 
oh, that pain in my heart is really, um, I'm releasing energy of the creator through my heart. So that's what that pain is. It's just removing blockages. And she does that all the time. And, and so I don't have as much influence, but I can sit on her. Like I sit on her mind and then she just gets quiet. Mm. That makes you feel like you have some power. I have it? power then. That's right. That's exactly right. Yeah, because you didn't have power before. None. They took it away. They didn't let me have anything. Mm -hmm. Took my family, took everybody. Calvin, we need to help you today. Calvin, when you died on that rope, you had an opportunity to go back home. Back home to the Creator. Why didn't you go? Did you get lost? I didn't know. I didn't know where to go. Calvin, I could show you. Look inside your heart, Calvin. There's a little spark of light there. You've always had this spark. This is the God spark. This is the part, spark that created you, Calvin. Find that spark for me. Tell me when you see it. Mm. It's there, isn't it? Mm. Now, Calvin, I want you to do something for me and make that spark bigger. Make it really big and tell me how it feels as you expand it. Mm. How's that light feel? Mm. Do you feel it? Mm. Do you feel the love? Make it bigger. Make it as big as the sun, mm. Calvin. You know how powerful. Is it real? You. Make it. Is powerful. it real? You're doing it, aren't you? Make it as big as the sun, Calvin. Make that light huge. See how powerful you are. Look how powerful you are. You have connected directly to your Creator. You've created this oh. yourself. How does that feel? Oh, this is real. It's real, isn't it? It's real. This is how it's you... love. It feels it love. It's love. It's love. It's love all over me. This is how you become free for for real, Calvin. This is freedom. Oh, are you ready to now detach from Tony's body? Oh yeah, and become free. Yeah. Go ahead and begin detaching from her now. And Tony, I want you to go inside and cut all those cords from the inside. Don't leave anything attached to you. And Calvin, tell me when you are completely detached. Oh, the feet are hard to let go. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty loose out now. Very good. Now, Calvin, you've just said a lot of nasty things to Tony about not wanting her to be free herself from mm -hmm. you. What do you have to say to her now? Girl, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I've been laying on you all so hard, so long, so heavy. And I'm really sorry. Do you want her to forgive you for that? Uh, would you ever forgive me? Take a deep breath in. Tony, can you forgive Calvin for not knowing that this was the way to go home? Yeah. All right. So, Calvin, I want you to go up right through the top of her head right here. And Archangel Michael is sitting there waiting for you. What does he look like, Calvin? He's vast, light. Mm-hmm. What, oh. what, what does he tell you? Come on, Calvin. We've been waiting for you for a long time. Mm. Are you ready to go home? Mm, yeah, I'll go. I'll go, I'll go. I'll miss you, girl. I'll miss you. Calvin, go straight with Archangel Michael and tell me when you're finally home. Tell me when you finally get there. Go 
back home to the source of this love. Is there anyone there to greet you? My whole family's there. What do they say? They're grabbing me. They're taking me in. They say, where you been all this time? Mm -hmm. They're grabbing me. They're taking me in. They're taking me in. Like they know me. 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 Calvin, may the light of the universe oh. always accompany you oh, with peace and love. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh. And now, Tony, disconnect. <coughs> and I'd like to ask now the same question I asked before. Who is Tony as an individualized expression of source when she's not in the physical body? Who is she? I am the creator's blessing. Mm -hmm. Blessing of breath. The breath is the blessing. So as Tony breathes, this is the blessing. I have given life on the breath. I am the Creator's blessing. Every breath is able to bless, and every breath is precious. The sound that comes through this vessel is a blessing to all that hear it or feel it. The obstruction to the knowing is dissolved. But this is the speaking, the loud and boisterous laughter, the singing. touches hearts and pulls them into the place where they've been longing for the center of the heart of the Creator where they've been lost and they are seeking all the time and in that moment they can feel in their bodies where their creator is in them. So she is a reminder to all that the breath is a blessing? That reminder, but also a trigger. Mm. She's like Everyone is a firecracker and they don't know what they're there for until somebody comes and lights the end of their little tail <laughs> on fire. And it takes a little while for them to get to their full purpose explosion of noise and joy. But now <clears throat> she's got a a way about her that is so finely tuned that when she gives it out into the world, people will feel it right away and their minds will not be engaged. Their hearts will be engaged and their bellies will be engaged. And that's where they need to begin to focus more because the mind is overwhelmed right now with information. And the only place to know the truth for you, for her, 
is to feel it in her belly and feel it in her heart. And if there's no static, if there's no, if there's no offness, if there's no unsureness, if there's no questioning, if it just sits there quietly, then that's your truth for now. Because we love change. We love change. Tell me more about these changes that she's going through. She's been seeking different modalities, each one changing, helping people. Is she extending this energy through these modalities? Yes, we come through, the truth of her comes through her vehicle when, whenever she does any of her energy healing work or mm-hmm. sound healing work or teaching classes or leading meditations or anything she does, we come through and she wants it. She, she knows how to step aside. Mm-hmm. She knows how to step aside. She's very, she was very curious about a a video she took one time at an event where she could not see them in the room, but when she was videotaping this little performance, mini performance, she saw all these blue orbs just flowing and flying into the camera and away from the camera and into the camera. And that was us letting her know that we're there. Mm. It was also the space that we were in, because this work is done in that space a lot. But we wanted her to see us. And that was a moment when she followed the intuition, and she flicked the button on the video in a particular way. She put on the light, and then she could see us. But she does this easily and we want her to feel that she's doing not just well but she's doing what she came here to do even though even though she was in an early stages of her life being pulled so hard When you say the word warrior, she drew on her warrior consciousness to get through it. Her determination, her her perseverance, and her mother was her beacon Mm -hmm. that kept her going. There were times when she wanted to end her life, and she said, but what will that do to my mother? Mm -hmm. And so she didn't. It didn't seem like she wanted to be into this life at all. Only because of the beginning. It was so hard. Mm -hmm. Why is it that she cannot see her invisible helpers? It seems she has many. She does. Why is the veil so thick? She actually shut us out. Hmm. Back when she was opening up and her chakras were becoming activated and she was having many experiences and we were talking to her so constantly Yet she was trying to distinguish the difference between the voice of her ego self and the voice of her mind and the voice of God and the voice of her helpers and her spirit guides. And 
there were so many of us talking to her because she could hear us mm -hmm. that one day she just screamed so loud inside her head, shut up. Mm -hmm. She screamed it and the, put a plug. It put like a plug in place mm -hmm. so she couldn't hear us anymore. What about now? She's hearing you now. She hears us now, but it's more subtle. Mm -hmm. Is this a better way? It is a better... It's not that it's better. It's that it's more discernible, the source of the information mm -hmm. now, than it was back then when she was younger. So the veil isn't really so thick. It's just that it's different. Mm, that's a good way to describe Mm hmm So really, she is still listening to you. She hears us quite well. Mm hmm I think what she's asking for is like conversation or something, mm -hmm. which doesn't happen unless she engages herself in another form like writing. Mm hmm or singing, or or typing. It, it, she needs another medium mm -hmm. to allow what we're saying to come through clearly for her. So one of those questions was about the block that she has for creatively writing this book. She wants to be able to publish more stories. Will you be assisting her in this creative process. Oh, we were right there with her. Mm -hmm. She hasn't done it because of the block of fear mm -hmm. at what might happen if people like it and it becomes popular. Mm -hmm. And that is the fear that stops her from doing it. The words are there. She hears us in her head periodically. She's got many, many notebooks with little notes here and there of all many things she could be writing about. Mm -hmm. There's no end to the flow. But the fear is the stopping point of putting pen in hand or fingers to keyboard. All right. So I'd like for you to assist with this exercise for Tony. I'd like for you to go ahead and show her a glimpse of what she's going to look like when she publishes these books. Tell her what it is that she's afraid of, because fear is false evidence appearing real. Show her what it's really going to be like when she becomes famous. This Tony's it's being blocked. Mm. Who's blocking it? Who's blocking it, please? <laughs> Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> Antonio, where are you? Antonio, why are you blocking this from her? bad. It's bad. It's bad. It takes you out of your comfort zone. Mm. It's so bad. It's just, it's just, can't we just skip it? Antonio, how long have you been there with Tony? I come back and forth mm -hmm. from different lifetimes. Mm -hmm. I just, I, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like the one that like, um, Helps her keep her promise to never do it. Ah. Antonio, how do you know her? From what lifetime? Mm. Well, we don't like dropping names, but 
it was during the time of Jesus mm -hmm. that she was living and I was living with her in bodies. Mm -hmm. And uh, we made an agreement that we needed to keep the children safe, the, the boys safe. The boys safe, because they were coming around killing all the boys. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that's where we started. How did you know each other? What did you do together? We just knew each other. We lived in the same area, village, mm -hmm. town, whatever you want to call it. You were it. friends? Or did you work? <clears throat> no, we, we, were, we were neighbors. Mm -hmm. We were neighbors. Mm -hmm. And because of because she was a woman and I was a man, there wasn't a lot of interaction, mm -hmm. but we knew each other. We knew each other in that way, in that friendly, you know, neighborly way. Mm -hmm. So what happened after you both died? Oh, she went to Italy. Mm -hmm. And did you follow her? She called me. Mm -hmm. For what purpose? She didn't specifically call me, but she called out when things started going south as they say, mm -hmm. and I came in to kind of shield her from the pain of the fall from fame, mm -hmm. and how they were now accusing her like they accused Jesus. What role did you play in that life? I attached to her mm -hmm. spirit. So you really have never really gone back home, have you? You've just been rolling around from lifetime to lifetime, attaching? Oh, well. I guess that's a way to say it. Mm -hmm. Why is it, Antonio, that you haven't gone back home, back to the Creator, to the source of love? I've kind of been on my mission. You've been on a mission. <clears throat> Do you think it's your mission to constantly interfere with the soul's path? Well, I don't consider it interfering if they call. Ah, well, let's find out if she called. I want you to go ahead and take a deep breath in. One, two, and three. Tony, did you call Antonio to interfere and block you from being successful? No. No. Do you think that we can let Antonio go now and not call him anymore so that he can go back home to Source? Oh, he can go home. All right. Do you forgive him for not oh. knowing that this, this one lifetime that you had was not a call on his mission? Yeah, yeah. All right. Take a deep breath in. Antonio, you have been officially released of your duty. Thank you, Antonio. So thank you, thank you. Very I good. release you now. So, Antonio, I'd like for you now to begin releasing your essence from her body. Tell me where you're located. Hmm. Where have you attached to her? Her hips. Her hips. What have you been doing to her hips? I just rest here because it's warm. Mm hmm. And I can give her pain if need be, but that doesn't happen very often anymore. Mm -hmm. I just rest here because it's warm and comfortable. Well, we're going to make it a little bit more warm and comfortable for you, Antonio, by focusing on that little spark of light within your heart. Go ahead and focus on that. Find that light and make it bigger. And let's see how warm you can get that light. Oh. Tell me how that feels as you warm up your entire essence. Oh. Antonio, this is the spark of God, the source of all the love. Keep making that light bigger and bigger. And tell oh. me how that feels. It's like it's turning into me. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm turning into it. Mm -hmm. You are one 
with your source. It's so warm. Mm -hmm. Not like her hips at no, all. No, much nicer, isn't it? Feel the love, Antonio. Oh. Feel the love. Are you ready now to disconnect? Oh, yeah. Go up to the top of her head right here, and Archangel Michael is there waiting for you. Oh. What does he tell you? Oh, he's magnificent. Mm-hmm. What is oh, he? Oh, he's sweeping me away. He's like, come on, come on, come on. Come on with me. Tell me when you get to where you need to go. He's home. there. Mm-hmm. Is there anyone to greet you? Oh. Oh, I feel my shoulders. I feel shoulders. Mm -hmm. He's got my back. How does that feel? He's got my back. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have someone have your back for once, isn't it? Yeah. So I'd like for you now to go towards that light of Creator and tell me what you feel when you arrive. I, I did a good job. I watched back so many backs, mm -hmm. but I need to have my own for now. Very good. So. Very good. Antonio, may the light and the love of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very good. So now let's take a deep breath and disconnect from Antonio. So now that that has been released, I'd like for you now to show Tony what she's going to look like as she progresses through her life in this fame of having written these books. Oh, what does that look like? It's so organic, dear. Don't worry. It's so organic. Just like you like it. It just evolves so gracefully. You worry about where you're going to live and how you're going to pay when you don't have any money and all oh, those benefits are going to go away and what am I going to do and oh, it's so funny to watch you worry about all these things. It's just going to be so easy and effortless and, mm -hmm. or it's just going to grow and build. Mm -hmm. Give you the analogy, girl, of having singing alone, and then someone comes and sings with you, and then someone comes and three of you are singing, and then two more come and five of you are singing, and eventually there's a whole chorus of you singing together the same song. That's just how it's going to be. And you'll know it when you see it. You know it. You know it. Your intuitive abilities to discern what is and is not right for you are well honed. So do not worry that you'll encounter something new and you won't you won't know whether it's the right or the wrong thing to do you'll know because you're fully formed now mm -hmm. and this resistance of being seen publicly on a large scale has that been dissolved now it remains choice mm -hmm. There are people who are very, very famous that you never hear about until they come out into the open again, and you can be just like that. Very good. Very good. And what about all of this issues about not being able to attract students and clients for her improv and wake-up work? What's been keeping her from attracting these students? She does want to be famous. <laughs> <laughs> it all boils down to that, huh? Yeah, well, you know, there's other little associated things, like when you're famous, you're 
self-centered and when you're famous you're bossy and tell everybody what to do and when you're famous she's got all these attached things that go along with being famous that she doesn't want to become and so that's what that famous thing is about but so she's creating a fantasy mm. of what she doesn't want to be mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but she's always been Tony mm -hmm. she's always created her own reality what makes her think that she as famous is not going to be who she says she is why has she created this fantasy in her mind Did that come from her? No. Who, Kri, who put that in her mind? No, it's just what she sees mm -hmm. around her out there in the world. Mm -hmm. And as much as she likes to detach herself from being influenced by the media, because there are so many people she admires mm -hmm. that are famous, and then she imagines what their lives are like, or she is shown on television what their lives are like. Mm -hmm. And she feels like she'll get lost. Like the real her will get lost if she gets caught up in the glamour. Hmm. Is that a truth or fantasy? Tell her the truth about that. It's a possibility, but mm -hmm. you have enough of a core strength and there are so many of us around you all the time that we won't let that happen but we will let you enjoy some of it <laughs> because you've earned it you've earned the right to enjoy your life not just exist in it mm -hmm. So all this resistance of getting out there, making connections to find locations to do work, attracting and serving more people and living more comfortably, hiring an assistant, all of this has been her own brakes, putting on the brakes. Some of it has been her putting on the brakes, and some of it has been what has been attached to her mm -hmm. that has been stopping her. And today we've released. Yes. Mm -hmm. Have we released all of it now? Take a look. Any others there? Something in the toes. The toes. Something in her toes. Her feet are always cold, and there's something in her toes. All right, so we're going to, I'm going to go over to the toes myself, <laughs> and we're going to release what's in her toes. Who are you? Are you male or female? Female. Oh, what's your name, please? Ellen. Ellen? Why have you been attached to her toes? What's going on there? I'm hiding. You're tiny. How old hiding, are you? hiding. You're hiding. hiding. Why are you hiding, hiding. there? Anybody to find me. Well, we found you today, and we're going to help you today, Ellen. How old are you? Four. Four. What happened to you, Ellen? What happened? What happened to your little body? He kept beating me and beating me and beating me, and I hit in the toes and the toes. I hit in the toes. Who beat you? My daddy. Your daddy killed you? He didn't kill me. He beat me. And beat me and beat me. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay, I'll be good. Who am I speaking with? <sighs> Is it Ellen? No. Who is it? No. Who is it? It's Tony. 
It's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. It's How me. old are you, Tony? How old are you? I'm four. Four. I didn't want to say my real name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tony, why did you hide out in your toes? Why did you hide there? Because I could, nobody could see me. Mm -hmm. Because daddy was beating you. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you hid away. Yes. And what happened to you all this time? Why have you been hiding there? I didn't know if it was safe. Is it safe? Is it safe for you? I know it's safe, but I just, I just got my little niche here when I liked it. Mm. But what have you been doing? To Big Tony by hiding out there. Mm. What have you been doing to mm. her? Well, I don't know, but I think that I think all that stuff that happens in her body that she's got issues with, like I think that maybe something I might have done, and I'm so sorry because mm. I didn't want to make her sick. Mm. I just didn't want anybody to see me. Mm -hmm. Now, Tony, what is it, little Tony? What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? I don't want him to beat me anymore. All right, so we're going to talk to your daddy now. We're going to talk to daddy. Tell me how that feels. Oh, she's my feminine nature. Mm. She's my feminine nature. Mm. And the whole thing, the whole thing, mm -hmm. the whole thing. Oh, wow. Feel it. <sighs> Feel it through all your body now. Oh. Beautiful feeling, isn't it? Feel that feminine nature of you, grown up, oh. fearless, oh. loved, ready now to face the world. Oh, oh! The beauty of seeing like a like a spiral, like a oh wow! I'm seeing this pig. Spiral like vortex, spiral thing. She's mm -hmm. wow, mm -hmm. wow, beautiful, wow, very oh. good. And now, oh, she's telling me a joke. <laughs> oh my god, she's like, well, I guess you're not gonna have cold feet anymore. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna have cold feet. You know when people have cold feet. Like, it's a term that we use mm -hmm. so, about, yeah. like, chickening out or something. You're, like, you get ready to do it, and then you chicken out, and they call it having cold feet. Uh-huh. So feel the warmth of the oh, wow. And feel the warmth in your heart now as you connect with that feminine nature. Wow. And now you will be able to see how you connect with others. Now that you are whole, oh, oh, what do you see now? It's a, it's the I don't know it. I feel it. Mm -hmm. That 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 little Tony that was hiding out mm -hmm. was holding the the ability to communicate with with my with the invisible realm. Let's say mm -hmm. she was holding that in her. Mm -hmm. In her fear. In, 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 but in her being, in her coming up, mm -hmm. in, in coming into my heart and beholding her and embracing her, it's like, uh, it, it, oh boy, 
it added the the she was she was the embodiment even though it's not physical body but she was the embodiment of that which I was missing mm -hmm. I think it's a way to say it and now in terms of my perception I was only working with half of what I was able of my perception ability mm -hmm. and now are you complete be able to look out now and see yourself on that large scale. Okay. So, um, yes, in answer to your question. Mm -hmm. And because I wasn't complete, because I didn't have all of me together at the same time, I wasn't, I felt like something could get in there and, and infiltrate me and, mm -hmm. and deter me from the path that I'm supposed to be on. Mm -hmm. Like something could influence me. And so, or step in, 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 in hold up for a second. That it sealed the opening that has been being protected internally. It no longer needs to use the energy of protection because the piece that was missing is now in place. Like the puzzle piece. It's yes. like puzzle. Yes. Think of a puzzle. Mm -hmm. And there were like six pieces out of the hundred pieces that, or, or let's say 20 pieces out of the hundred pieces that were just simply missing. Mm -hmm. And so it allowed other stuff to infiltrate. But if once these 20 pieces are both in place and in place properly, nothing can get in that isn't supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. So how does she look? Is everything in place? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, she's, she's, she's noticing, like, my toes are still cold. Why is that? Mm-hmm. Yet it may simply be a a physical body circulation issue, <laughs> yes, rather than something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'd like for you to go ahead and allow Archangel Raphael to step forward, and begin putting into her body his beautiful green healing light, filling in all of those spaces that were inhabited by little Tony, by Antonio, by Calvin. Completely encapsulating her in that beautiful green light as it seals all of that attachment that she had. And feel the flow oh. of that energy. What's that doing to her body? Shifting the frequency. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Shifting a frequency from fear to love. Beautiful. Thank you. Tell me when that's done so we can continue with our questions. It's complete and it will also continue for a little Good. while. Good. Now that she is complete, will she be able to see images in her mind or were her third eye? She says the few times she's been able to do that, it's been spectacular. It's something that she can do, mm -hmm. but that she 
has not done and that we don't give her very frequently because she is prior to today we'll put it in a context mm -hmm. that she has been she could have got, gotten herself lost in mm -hmm. I just want to see all of these images and then get lost in that so you need her to live her life yeah and not be out there. yes 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 okay. that's exactly it good now there's some things that are stopping her physically though she's not exercising as much as she should <sighs> That was her feminine principle nature. Mm -hmm. Her feminine nature has been so um, me too mm -hmm. <laughs> over her life, her younger life. Yes. That that kind of cemented little Tony in her place of don't see me, mm -hmm. don't touch me, get away from me. And now that this has been released, we'll be happy to see what happens. But that aspect of her exercising, moving, walking, mm -hmm. swimming, like any of those physical activities, if they even came close to bringing her body down to a more, uh, a lo we're not even going to label it other than to say a lower weight mm -hmm. and stronger muscles. Mm -hmm was abhorrent because it might attract attention, uh -huh. unwanted attention. Okay. So and intellectually she understands that operation, mm -hmm. but she hasn't been able to overcome it because of the disconnection from her feminine nature, which is also a source of power and strength not necessarily what the world has tried to depict women as frail and fragile and delicate. Mm -hmm. And she's adopted the masculine nature in herself to be that strong power. And now she can experiment with the arrival of her full feminine nature in her beingness mm -hmm. to express itself in all of its ways and not just the ways that the world says is acceptable. Mm -hmm. And this is what she has been avoiding, but with her power her age, her wisdom, her friends, her spiritual circle, mm -hmm. both physical and non-physical, she's going to be fine. Wonderful. What about her health? She says she's had ringing in the ears since the early 80s. She has her eyesight with debris, diabetes, type 2 and high blood pressure and, and thyroid issues. What is causing all of these things? Most of these have come as a result of the emotional states mm. that she has lived through. Okay. And they were the manifestation into the physical of these various emotional states. Has she been able to release any of these now? Yes, and she she takes the medication for these things mm -hmm. and she in her mind believes that she can like lower her blood pressure yes. just with her mind mm -hmm. but it doesn't get lower so she gets frustrated and she wants to stop taking all her medication yet the and she has lately been skipping days here and there she takes like five or six different pills mm -hmm. yet the connection to the earth the, the connection to humanity and I won't say the earth her connection to humanity 
remains real with these illnesses or diseases mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. or, or lack of perfect health. Yet, she's tired of it. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to take pills. She doesn't want this. And she recognizes that to the degree that she could be more physically active, that all of these other symptoms would go away. Mm -hmm. And so it's a catch-22 for her up to this point. So now we have done some work for her to begin doing her exercise, loving her body more, understanding what has caused all of this resistance to working on her body, to hiding her body. Now that we have seen this, have put a light over this, once she starts taking care of her body and loving it, will she start seeing some changes in the numbers? Yes. And she will, it will happen very naturally. She likes to use the word organically mm -hmm. because there's no effort involved in something that's happening organically. Mm -hmm. It's the way it naturally goes. Good. Good. Can I ask on her behalf for a guide or an angel that will help her with motivating her to eat the right things, connecting her with the right people? that she can exercise with, that will allow her to see herself in the mirror becoming healthier and healthier. Yes, and she actually has a team that mm -hmm. assists with these things that you have named. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and There's some padding, <clears throat> there's some padding in her brain. Mm -hmm. It's energetic pad padding. Who put it there? Uh. Oh, interesting. It happened... She's had several concussions in her life mm -hmm. that she never had treated. She had them. She knew what they were. And she just kind of talked herself through them. Mm -hmm. And but the we placed the padding there for her ah. to protect her. Does she need that padding anymore? I don't think she's going to be getting any concussions anytime soon. Yeah, no, yeah, we can take that out. All right. What are you doing? What do you use to take that padding out? We, we are using, it's like a little suction. Mm-hmm. Oh, a good analogy would be how they do liposuction. She's yes. never had liposuction, but it's, so she doesn't know exactly what that procedure is like, but it's kind of like that. Okay. And so hold on, we're going to take it out. Thank you. And it's also had a little bit of an interference with her crown. Mm -hmm. And this too might help her in her perception abilities. Wonderful. Let's remove this completely. Hold on. As we begin to uh, remove it, we discover that there's there was a, a lay a wide layer mm -hmm. and then a more compacted smaller circumference layer mm -hmm. that we need to get them both. They're being transmuted and transformed. Thank you. And how will this help with her health? It will allow her perceptions to be more clearly uh, received and the motivation we will give her the example we'll give her this example she a week or so ago went to uh, she was awakened we woke her up but she was awakened uh, to jump up out of bed and go take a shower and go to a very specific church she does not attend any church ever she jumped out of bed, she jumped in the shower, she got her clothes on, she went to the service, 
And without going into all the details of what happened and why, we will say that her motivation to get up and exercise or to go for a walk or to do anything physical will happen in a very similar way. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much. I'd like to talk to you about relationship questions. She feels that she's not nurtured or attached to many people that she loves and who loves her. What is causing this? There are several reasons for this. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> One was little Tony. Mm -hmm. And little Tony trying to both maintain her identity and stay hidden. Mm -hmm. Does she need to be like that anymore? No. Good. She wants to know if uh, why she's most content when she doesn't have to interact with people socially. Is that the same reason? There's, there's that reason, and there's also a way that she has been in practice in her life mm -hmm. of trying to learn detachment. Mm -hmm. And on an emotional level, she has tried, and she's been very successful mm -hmm. at removing many, many buttons, like trigger buttons, yes. things that trigger you and make you all upset. Mm -hmm. She's done a very good job at removing most of hers, which also places her in a state of detachment mm -hmm. from people. So when things happen out in the world, she doesn't have an instant emotional reaction to it necessarily. And so that's part of what's operating here. So isn't this a great training for when she becomes famous? Yeah, mm -hmm. it really is actually. So she's been actually preparing all along to detach herself from what people think about her. Mm -hmm. Because it really whether she's famous or not, it's really none of her business, isn't it? Right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Why did she choose her husband? What happened there? Do they know each other? They are what we might call travel buddies. Mm hmm And when things go bad, they show up for each other to help each other through whatever the situations are that they're living through. Mm -hmm. And she would like she she would like to use the term soulmates, but that's not really what they are. They are what we would define as twin flames. Mm -hmm. They are created from the same seed. They have been sent off into experience, into the universe, into this planet, into many other experiences, essentially to play hide and seek from opposite ends of polarities. And in this particular life that we're in now, the polarity was good and evil. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can start at the good place or start at the evil place and find our way back to the wholeness, to the center, to each other. And they do this periodically. And mm -hmm. this was one of those lifetimes where it was necessary for her partner to go into the darkest places, one of the darkest circumstances on the planet, which is prison, and operate from operate his light from there. Mm -hmm. And she, going on the good end of the spectrum, was being as good as she possibly could and still experienced high degrees of punishment for what anyone looking at it would say, and why is this happening to her? Mm -hmm. 
they were both experiencing their own versions of the same life. Yet there are significant differences in what they experienced, yet there were so many parallel realities, par par not realities, parallels mm -hmm. to their experience growing up and becoming adults. So what advice would you like for to tell her now about her marriage? Enjoy it. Enjoy it. You had a recall of a life with him in Ireland. And when we showed you that life, you said, that's kind of like how we are now. And like, yeah, that's how you are together. There's not romance, there's utility. The two of you have very different skill sets, yet you both have very almost identical aesthetics, like beauty aesthetics and music aesthetics. Like the both of you are identical in that way, mm -hmm. yet the way you express yourselves in the world is so different. And that's what makes it fun for the both of you, even though you get on each other's nerves. You know, you both know the core of your love and where it comes from. Very good. What about her dad? I know now that she is taking care of him. Is there any karma left there? I think we did a lot of work today. Mm. She has come to a place of resolution about her father. Her father doesn't live with her, but she sees him mm -hmm. regularly. Mm -hmm. And her father is in his own personal struggle right now that she so dearly wants to help him with and release him, help him release himself from that isn't possible because she's his daughter. Mm -hmm. And because he is, has become who he is, he is a split person. Mm -hmm. And she can only love him. When we talk about beaming, that's what we're talking about. Just beam at him. Good. And he'll get it. Very good. Very good. Now, I've been trying to ask this question and been interrupted by many of these attachments. Did she make a contract to not see or remember her source home until she was finished with his life? No. She did not make a contract like that. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Good. So now I believe that most of the questions has, have been answered in one way or another. Is there anything that you would like to tell Tony that I haven't asked today? There's a part of you that wants to be seen by the public because you know what comes through you is so valuable, so helpful, so wondrous so entertaining, so enrap... You, you... people become enraptured listening to you. And you know that because you know that your God essence is very fully present and able to express itself through this vehicle. And you know that in expressing itself through this vehicle, that so many people experience joy or change or peace or something wonderful. And now we hope that the blocks, the fears, the things that have been holding you down and back are freed from you in a way 
that allows you to have the best of both worlds. Your public world, which is your service. It's what you do. It's your purpose. You go out into the world and you do 15 different things and you love it all because you love variety. And then you come back home to your little nest and you be in your nest and you love being in your nest. And those things will remain, yet they will change in their form. They will change in their physical form. And it is something that you desire and wish for and believe really in your heart that it can only happen when you've died and gone to heaven and then you can have it the way you want. No. You know that you are much more vibrant at this age that you are than you ever thought was possible. And this will continue until you feel that you're done here. And then when you're done, you will slip away and rejoin us. And in the meantime, don't get your head in an uproar over the details. You have heard this countless times from every avenue that it could come at you. Do not get messed up in the details of how it's going to work out because it unfolds like a flower. It does not go down like a train track. Flowers unfold and that's what you're doing yet again. We are flowers, not man-made train tracks. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Can I ask to have that beam of light that she channels to be channeled now? so that all in her presence can receive it. This beam is designed to melt fear and embrace truth in all. This beam is designed to melt fear and evolve truth. This being melts fear and reveals the essence of love as it emanates from the Creator purely and truly. It pulses pulses and it is felt and yet this body that lays here is a proxy for all the bodies on the planet so that if they so choose they may so pulse and be
Each breath is a blessing. Every one of your breaths, every breath you take, when you inhale, it's a reminder of the presence that you are. When you exhale, it is the presence of God expressing blessings out into your world. And when you inhale, it reminds your brain of the presence of all that is. And when you exhale, you exhale the blessings of the Creator out into your world. Your breath, remember it. I am present always. Thank you very much. Are we complete? We are complete and we thank you for this opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you. And wonderful all over. Welcome back. <laughs> wow. That's all I can say. That's all I can say, too. <laughs> wow. How long do you think you were on this journey? What did it feel like to you? Simultaneously forever in about 20 minutes. Mm. Well, we're on two hours and 14 minutes right now. <laughs> Dang. And you know what? I watch your videos. I know it's a long time, but it doesn't feel yeah. that way. It doesn't feel that way at all. We got a lot of work done today. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, totally. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. You did fabulous. So you want to share some of this? I'm sure. I'm sure. We can get some of the personal stuff out yeah. there, but... It was great stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was very important. You have a quite a journey here, quite I a think, mission. What, what surprised me the most mm -hmm. was Helen. My That was like my inner child that didn't want to get discovered, so she gave like a false name. Isn't that something? An alias? <laughs> An alias. <laughs> <laughs> And, and when she said it, I'm like, uh, okay, well, if that's the name that's coming up, I guess I'll say it out loud. But it was odd that, that it what it turned into, and it was so, like... Mm, that was great. It, it really was. I feel like that's part of what I needed to have happen. Did you expect To this? reclaim it. No, no. Yeah. No. And, and, and that thing about wanting to, like... I know something's holding me back, and I don't know what a it lot is. Was holding you back. A I lot. mean, it was a lot. Yeah, yeah. A lot was holding me back. <laughs> that was wonderful. Oh boy, fantastic! You huh? are like so freaking good. <laughs> I'm just, um, yeah. That was an amazing session. Yeah. I mean, capitalized. Okay. With an exclamation point. Okay. At the end. That was great. Yeah. We got a lot done. Yeah, we did. Did you expect anything like this? No, and I'll I'll tell you what I was ex not expecting. You don't expect anything, but hoping <laughs> for. Yes. I hope I find out that I'm like a blue alien or a blob from the planet blah blah. Well, you and were no. Yeah, you were a dolphin from Venus. Oh yes, yeah. that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, what's the, what's, I mean, yeah, yeah. That was great. That was great. It was great. Does it make sense? It does, and. 
it it does and it doesn't and it does and I don't care. Well, I just did, wanted you did it's great. like everything it was fantastic. It was really it, it made total sense and we had we had all these entities Calvin who was Oh yeah. Calvin who had been hanged and uh didn't yeah. want to you know. Yeah. Yeah, Calvin was not really nice. Antonio who's been having your back all this time and, yeah. and not letting you progress and then you had your inner child who hadn't grown yeah. up. So that was a lot. Mm. Mm. That was emotional. It was very emotional. Yeah, yeah, and that's what happens. Yeah. So you got you got you got bang for your buck here. Oh uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> I totally now, did. <laughs> Tony's uh, session had been changed from a long time ago. February. February to now June. So do you feel that it was the right timing? Yes, I feel like it needed to wait. Yeah. I felt like it needed to wait because where I'm going to go once this is done wasn't quite ready yet. Yes. I had to bake a little bit more. Yeah. 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 And uh, right now we're in Boston. And are you from this area? I am from Boston. I live 20 miles south of Boston. Yeah. You're in East Boston. Yes. Right now, which I was like, East Boston. <laughs> cool. Traffic. No. <laughs> but yeah. I'm I'm only two and a half blocks from the from the station. Right. So I thought this is really cool. I'm gonna be like a real Bostonian. Yeah. Bostonian. Boston. Boston. <laughs> <laughs> so I did the Boston Yeah. What was it that the uh, orange line and the blue line. Yes, I yes, yes. The, the subway station here. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about you. Um I am privileged to have gotten this book mm -hmm. that Tony has written. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's a memoir. It's a memoir. And this is something that you can actually get. You can buy it. You can buy it on Amazon. It's her memoir as to how she got to where she is now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I'm, I'm going to be on the train here in a few weeks and I'm going to be reading this. Mm -hmm. And she also got me these really cool things. Tell them what it is. It's called a Sujok Rings. A There's Sujok. two of Sujok. S U J O K. So I'm going to show it yeah, yeah. what it looks like. It looks almost like a little tiny, like, Brillo pad or something. Yeah. This is what it looks like. All right. Mm -hmm. There we go. And you put it on your fingers and you massage, you massage them. You go yes. back and forth, changing them. Mm -hmm. Right. Am yeah. I doing it right? You are up and down, I'm up and down. Rolling them up and down in your fingers. Mm -hmm. And here's the other one. And tell them what happens as you roll these up and down and your fingers. So what they're doing is they're stimulating all the energy points that are in your fingers mm -hmm. and they recharge your body and you can do them on your toes mm. and the container that they come in you can use also to like press the bottoms of your feet to get all those that with me but, yep to, but how can how can somebody get one of these cool things oh well um <laughs> <laughs> All day. Right. I have not set up a way for people to buy them online or anything. Mm. They only can get them at my events ah. because we have a limited supply and wow. I never, they weren't, I'm, I'm doing it on behalf of someone. Yes. And so I didn't want to set it up on my website right. and she didn't want to do it at all, but so, they need to get out so there. So how can someone contact you? So they can go, definitely go to my website. Okay. So that, tell them what your website okay. is. Okay. So my website is wakeupworks.org. And if you go to the contact page, it shows you how to contact me. Okay. If you'd like one of these Sujak rings, th there's two of them that come in the little container. Yes. Um, you can contact me through my website and we can make it happen. Ooh, that'd be yeah. so cool. Can yeah. they get a book from you from that? They, you can get a book right straight from Amazon. You can get digital, the, the digital ebook version or you can get a the Kindle? paper. Yeah, you can get a Kindle wow, version or great. you can get a hardcover version. Fantastic. Yep. Sweetwater, Shadow Woman. There you go. Yeah. I'll show it to you again. Thank you so this much. Is, this is the book. <laughs> and it's 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 her memoir of how she got to be where she is right now. Yeah. I think that'd be really and we've seen quite a bit today. So <laughs> wow. So thank you very much for watching. This has been an amazing session. And um 
really, if you want to get a hold of me, you can go to my website, albawyman.com. If you want a session with me, go to my out of town page, click on the subscriber link. You got to subscribe to my newsletter. And once a month, approximately, I send out a newsletter telling you where I'm going to be. I'm, my home is in Miami. So I will either have sessions in Miami or anywhere in the world. So I get, I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Thank you for watching. And until the next time, bye. And now I get that hug. Dang! Mm, mm, mm. Mm, great, 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 great. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome.